Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Got a John Lee Hooker inspired uh, blues guitar lesson for you. This kind of got that good uh, kind of bar blues vibe to it. Uh, little licks mixed in with uh, some cool chords. So I think it'll be helpful. All right, so it starts with a lick. I mean, it's it's all just kind of a E blues, which we love. We love the blues and E. And it's using this little transition from the open pentatonic to the next position up. And you can learn those uh, on guitarjams.com. But anyway, middle finger on the second fret of the G string right here. And we pick right before we slide it up a whole step to the fourth fret. Oops. And then your index finger is lined up right there to hit the third fret of the B string. Next thing we do is we slide back. And these are not pick and slides, they're basically simultaneous, practically. Not, instead it's so right when you pick you slide it on the way back too. pull off to that open G. So that thing on the G string is one move with one pick. And this is kind of pulling off to get that open G string in there. Here it is again. Then we're going to go 202 on the D string. And I'm doing another pull off. Lots of ideas in this little thing right there. I just improvised a, a few of them, but you can mix it up, okay? Another good one. So third fret on the B, and then instead of sliding from the four, I'm sliding from this blues note, keyword of the lesson, blues note, third fret to second fret, like that. You know, you could even do that same thing, but instead of the third on the B, it could be the open E. But now I'm starting to teach you every lick that I've got. I need a few for myself. Ah, whatever. Okay, next thing. E, G, A, which you can play that way. In this rock blues kind of vein, I'm, I'm playing A a lot with in the index finger. That's it. E, G, A, E. E, G, A, E. E, G, A, E. Ah, it goes to some other chords. But only on the breakdown with the licks. Then there's a groove that just stays and goes on and on and on for you to solo over. This is like the breakdown. And it's basically the signature part of, of, this, of this guy's vibe. So here's what we got so far. So it does two like that. And you can always vary the licks, uh, mess with it. It's fun. Uh, you know, gave you a couple of little ideas to springboard off of. But so then it's the same licks, but then A, C, D, 
A, and I want to say A, C, D, C so bad. But that is why they're called that band. That's the only chords they use. No, I'm just kidding. Okay? So it does one of those. Then the lick. Back to the E. So here's everything we got so far. I'll do it kind of slow. Now notice the chords, uh, it's like that offbeat. You got to get there a, 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 a little bit early than, the, than that downbeat. Not, uh, it's not that, it's, hope that helps. Okay, so we did everything, then there's just one turnaround chord, the lick stays the same, and it's just the same thing on the five chord of the blues. So it starts on a, there's a few different ways to play it. This is the way I found. Basically, I just take a power chord on the second fret of the A and the fourth fret of the D. That on the second fret, up to the fifth fret, and then up to the seventh fret, back to the B. Like that. Basically, you can now groove 